So as someone that almost always uses a hydration bladder for their bike packing trips, I was really excited to see that Apodura was coming out with a hydration bladder to fit your frame and your frame bag. So in this video, we are going to talk about using a hydration bladder for bike packing trips. And of course, I'm going to share my thoughts on the new Apodura frame pack hydration bladder. Let's get into it. So don't forget, if you like what you see in our videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And of course, if you want to help support us a little bit more, you can do that by signing up for the Bikepacking Collective. The Bikepacking Collective is Bikepacking.com's annual membership that includes monthly giveaways, industry discounts, and of course, twice a year, you get the Bikepacking Journal shipped to your door. So for more details on the Bikepacking Collective, I've provided a link below, or you can click on this card right here. So why would you use a hydration bladder for bikepacking in the first place? And where would you put it? Well, hydration bladders, they can typically be really heavy. Not only does that main triangle typically have the space to fit three liters of water or so, when you throw a bladder in a frame bag, typically that means the water is going to be centralized on the bike and it typically sits pretty low. So it's going to handle that weight really well. As opposed to say throwing your three liter hydration bladder on your bars or a seat pack or even some panniers. So there's nothing stopping you from doing those things but it's definitely going to change the ride characteristics of your bike. So by throwing them within your frame, you're going to maintain that ride feel that you're more than likely used to when you don't have weight within the frame. This new frame pack hydration bladder from Apodura, this is a three liter hydration bladder. So this basically weighs just about six and a half pounds, which is not light at all. Think about throwing six and a half pounds on your back in a backpack that typically is going to lead to more premature irritation on the sit bones. So if you typically carry roughly three liters of water on your back, consider throwing the water with your frame bag and some of the lighter items within your frame pack in your backpack. So another upside to hydration bladders is, well, I just don't really like using water bottles for all my bike packing trips, especially once I get in more demanding terrain or on more demanding routes. Typically when I'm riding single track, I don't like water bottles on my fork or anything like that because they can fly off and that's just not very fun to deal with. So having all of my water contained within my frame and maybe a little bit on my back or a little bit on the down tube is more ideal. Not to mention a hydration bladder works really well for those less demanding routes, but routes that are a little bit more remote say in the desert where you don't have access to a lot of water, you can pair your hydration bladder with bottles and be able to carry a large volume of water that way. But a lot of what bike packing is all about is convenience. So is using a hydration bladder in your frame with other items a pain in the butt? It can be. So one of the main downsides of using a hydration bladder within your frame is, well, gravity. It's just working against you. <laughs> Obviously with the main compartment of water sitting much lower than your mouth, it definitely takes a little bit more effort to suck that water up through the hydration bladder and the hydration hose. So another challenge I find is routing your hydration hose because every bike is different. Every ride application is a little different. Trying to figure out where the hose goes around your top two around your handlebars, around your top two bag is going to be very dependent on you. So obviously there's some upside and downsides to hydration bladders, but when you're looking into more remote trips or you just don't necessarily want to fill up water all that often, having a large capacity bladder is a super nice thing. So the Apodura Frame Pack Hydration Bladder comes in two sizes, 1.5 liters and three liters, as you see right here. But of course, what sets this bladder apart from this bladder is, well, the shape, clearly. So while the Apodura Frame Pack Bladder fits really nicely in the Apodura Frame Pack, it definitely fits well in many other frame packs that I've tested it in. The bladder fits really nicely at the bottom of your frame pack and because there's no rigid bits within the bladder, it conforms really well to your seat tube and your down tube. As I mentioned earlier, the position of this water bladder is super nice for the center of gravity for your whole bike packing rig, but the shape really helps secure the water in place. The bladder comes with volume indicator levels on the side to show how much water is actually within the bladder. It comes with a super long hose and I actually cut this a little bit and I still need to cut it a little bit more. 
And this hose is super long because, well, it's meant to fit a variety of different systems. Say if you want to attach it to some aero bars or say the rider that is using it is super tall. And Apodera mentions that you should trim down the hose based on your needs and desires. So a really neat feature is the bladder comes with a quick click hose connection so that you can easily remove the hose from the bladder so that you can take the bladder out and say fill it up in a convenience store or a creek without actually having to remove the hose from your bike. That can be a pain in the butt. So this is a super nice feature. So the system has an on and off setting to ensure that you don't have unwanted flow and it comes with a bite valve. So you need to gently bite down on the valve to ensure water flow. The bag comes with a roll top closure like system and it's completely leak proof as you see, but you do need to make sure that the Ziploc like closure system is completely closed. Once you fill up the bag, all you have to do is roll the top of the bag so that you can engage the Velcro to itself. Talking about a few things I don't like about this hydration bladder. First off, Epidur mentions that this is a high volume hose, but comparing this hose and valve with the Camelback hose and valve, it definitely doesn't yield as much flow as the Camelback. So one of my observations was that the hydration hose and the bite valve itself they feel a little bit cheaper versus some other bite valves and hoses out there. When I was trying to figure out a good routing solution on my bike, I ended up bending the hose quite often and it bent so much that it actually kinked the water flow, which is obviously something you don't want. So making sure that you have really straight lines with this specific hose is actually pretty important. When I ended up taking the bite valve off the hose to trim the hose, one part of the hose indeed is a little bit thinner than the remaining parts of the hose, which definitely helps that hose kink and close off a little bit easier. Here you can see me bending the Camelback hose and then bending the Apodura hose. And I'll do it again in another location. The upside to Apodera's quick release hose system is that, well, it's the exact same one as Camelback. So all you have to do is click in the Camelback one, it doesn't leak, and so you have the best of both worlds. So another thing I noticed was when you wanna actually open the bite valve to make sure that the water flow is turned on, it's actually really easy to take this whole system off. And when you do so, actually water flows out. So you need to be careful. The locking mechanisms on all of these hydration bladder hoses are super important for me. Say I'm in the desert, it's 90 degrees, and I'm 50 miles away from my next water source. I can't afford to lose any of that water. So making sure that I lock it every time after I take a sip is super important. So the last downside to this whole system is that the bladder, well, it's rather thin, it's rather lightweight. And when it lives within a frame pack with other things, potentially sharp things, you never know, uh, you don't want them to poke a hole in this bladder. So I definitely wouldn't mind it being a little bit more durable. Obviously nothing has happened to it yet, However, all of my other bladders are a little bit more durable than this one. But there's obviously a lot to like about this bladder. And first off, the shape. There's nothing like this out there, which is really cool. And it fits in a variety of different frame bags and it's going to fit in many different bikes. The other thing I like about it is it's actually not too wide. So it's not going to interfere with any crank arms. And that's because it actually has this little divider in here so that it ensures that it isn't too wide. The roll top closure system is really easy to use. The Velcro system itself is super strong. This little Ziploc like system, it's really burly. It's really hard to actually undo. And that means it's really hard to actually close. So you're just gonna need to make sure that it is completely closed. But they designed this in a way so that if you say have an Apodura bag or a bag with a lower compartment opening, you don't necessarily need to actually take the bladder out. All you have to do is sneak the roll top closure system out of the frame bag, open it up, fill water, roll it back together and stuff it back in. It's actually pretty slick. And despite some of the hoses issues, I do appreciate that Apodura stocked it with an extremely long hose because some of the hoses that actually come with regular hydration bladders are a little too short, especially for taller riders or for bikes that are a little bit larger. Finally, just talking about the overall functionality, it actually is a very easy to use system. I was able to suck all of the water out of the hydration bladder and I was a little concerned about that. Just looking at the hydration hose port being a little bit more elevated than the bottom part of the bladder, there was no issues with getting all of the water out. And you might be wondering, what is this little loop here? Well, this little loop is made for all Apodura frame packs that this 
three liter bladder fits. The loop secures into a little plastic piece inside the frame pack. Apidur has a full bladder compatibility chart for all of their frame packs. So if you're interested in seeing if your frame pack will be able to fit one of these bladders, you can check out their website. So while I haven't tested the full durability of the Apidura frame pack hydration bladder, I've have tested it for a variety of rides now, and I think Apidura is onto something here. The bladder's shape truly allows the bike to brace the weight and for the bladder to stay in place, which I really love. And with a few improvements of that lightweight hose and the bite valve, I think this product could be great. I also wouldn't mind seeing some sort of a little clip on the end of the hydration hose so that I could clip it to say my top two bag or a side of my frame bag or something like that. Like many specialty products out there, the price point is about double the price that you would pay for a normal hydration bladder. The 1.5 liter bladder will cost you 51 USD and that three liter bladder will cost you 63 USD. So what do you all think about the Apidura frame pack hydration bladder? Would you buy one? Let us know below. As always, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, pedal further.